Studio portrait photography is a lot of fun, but oftentimes it requires a lot of equipment like flashes, light stands, and backgrounds. If you've been wanting to get into that style of photography, but you don't have all the gear, stay tuned to see how I recreate that studio look outdoors with minimal equipment on this episode of Artisan Advice. Welcome back. A few years ago, I started a series called Parking Lot Portraits, where I use daylight and some simple items to try and mimic the look of my studio portraits. For the shots I'm working on today, I use the Sony Alpha 7R Mark V. It's my go-to camera body for studio and location portrait work, thanks to its advanced focusing system and high resolution. Now, I typically love using prime lenses to shoot my portrait work, but I really fell in love with the ease of using a zoom lens, and given that I wanted to get some different crops, I ended up using the new Sony 20 to 70 millimeter F4 lens. The image quality coming from this lens and camera combo is excellent, which made it an easy choice for this shoot. I also used a battery grip on my camera, which makes holding it for vertical portraits a lot easier. I have some videos talking about the importance of having a battery grip if you're a portrait shooter, which I will link in the card above. At any rate, the studio setup is actually really simple. I used a white V-flat, which I actually constructed myself using two four by eight foot foam boards that I taped together. I also brought out a rolling table that I used as a platform to place my reflector for a few shots. It's not a necessity, but it's nice to have so that you don't end up having to hold the reflector yourself or have your subjects having to worry about holding it. The key to this simple setup is shooting at the right time of day. During this session, which took place around midday, the sun was coming in from behind the V-flat. This is an important thing to note as you want to be mindful of the quality of light that is lighting your subject. Since the light was coming from behind the V-flat, that causes my subject to be in shade, which gives a nice even exposure across the entire image. With the V-flat positioned like an open book, it also provides some nice fill to bring the shadows up a bit. For some of the shots, I ended up bringing that reflector in, which filled the shadows even more, and it created some interesting catch lights in her eyes. Here are a few images from this session along with the settings. Listen, it really doesn't take much to recreate this style and it is a lot of fun. Try it out and let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna get some more advice for your next portrait shoot, check out the playlist that you see here on the screen. See you there.